Welcome to the podcast. I'm Conrad. I have a guest with me today, at least for the moment. I won't say today because I don't think he wants to be a part of the whole podcast, but introduce yourself, bro. Well, this is DJ. I had no notice of this. I got no notes, no head notification, but fuck it. I just came back from um, answering the call of duty, and I am I am here. Yeah, fuck. I'm here too. Let's paint the picture since the camera's at the ceiling fan. We're just sitting here at my house on the back porch, just chilling. Enjoying some beverages, smoking a couple stogies. You know, I was sitting here thinking, I'm worried about all the things I need to start a podcast. I was like, okay, I need a microphone. And I know this is so unprofessional, but there's a plane passing by. So I'm going to lean in a little more. Um... I was like, yeah, you know, I got a microphone, so I need a microphone. I got a laptop, I need my laptop. I got to download these programs. Uh, You know, I started thinking, if I was serious about making a podcast, what mattered more? The quality of the recording or the quality of the content being recorded? And I know deep down inside my heart, the most important thing is the quality of the content. So, you know, we're blessed. I'm blessed where I can have a, a phone that has these capabilities. I could literally take this audio and upload it straight to wherever, so there's no excuse, and that's that's how I like to live life, man. Like, I'm nowhere near where I want to be, and I realize it's because I don't chase things the way I should sometimes. I mean, does that make sense, Duval? What's, what's your viewpoint? Uh, I think it makes sense. I think one issue that we tend to have is... I would, I say I, I'm kind of improvising here, but I would say there's things in life with like I'll, I'll call them I'll call them I don't know some type of cue like there's we know what we need to do and and life actually sometimes gives us hints and it's like uh, I, I'm 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 on the fly right now so I don't have any examples or nothing lined up but like. Let's say you just bought a gym membership, for example, and you're not going, and like uh, a gym commercial comes on, you know, and it's like it, it, the cues remind you of things you should be doing, and we as humans tend to like ignoring certain things, especially if it involves pain. There you go, see, because I was about to jump in, so I'm waiting for you to bring it, man, because ain't no future in front. And, like, let's be real, and I'm sure anybody who will ever listen to this will agree. As humans, we, we don't like pain or things that we perceive as painful. And unfortunately, there's a lot of bad things that are painful, but it, it might feel good, or we might make ourselves believe this is a good feeling, but we do it anyway. I mean... I'd say that's probably the, the case with anybody who does any form of drinking alcohol, any sort of drug abuse, uh, food abuse, sex abuse. I mean, it's all about, hey, let me do something that I think feels good, but, you know, it's the challenge is not only not doing that, but also doing the things that we might perceive as this doesn't feel good. Like, I'm so proud I went and got on this treadmill for five minutes because I haven't done that in a while because... If I'm honest, I have to say, you know what? When I think of getting on the treadmill, I think of the burning in my lungs, the burning of my joints and muscles, because I'm intentionally using them. And even though I know I'm going to benefit from that, in the long run, it's, it's in the beginning that it's like, man, it doesn't feel good, so you know what? I know I need to do it, but I'll get around to it. Like, does that make sense to them? <clears throat> Yeah, it makes sense, and and going back to the um, especially uh, you know, alcohol and drugs and things. That is um, it, it's it's basically an escape from, an escape from duty. Exactly. Among other things, it, it, it's 
it doesn't it doesn't cure pain it just masks it and it, it makes it hard to realize which actually it's actually that's you're actually covering up a um, a, a defensive mechanism that is meant to keep you healthy and living right it's explain that what do you mean well we know we shouldn't be drinking we know we have endless things to do with our time but mm -hmm. it seems alcohol and cigarettes and other things take hold of that it's you know being somebody who struggled with cigarettes and drinking and all that for a long time I'm gonna say I agree with you but at the same time I feel like I've allowed it I feel like I've never really pushed back and and push myself to realize I don't need this and I have a calling and things I'm supposed to be doing and I'm not doing that and the people I follow you know Wes Watson Bedros Koulian um, just all these dudes on YouTube they all kind of say the same thing where it's like that quote unquote anxiety depression all that all that it is is your body's natural reaction telling you there's things you're supposed to be doing or you haven't done so that's why I'm like I, I agree, but I feel different. Right. Um, on a side note, we might as well might as well set the camera up to where the people can see the planes flying over and name this plane podcast a landing the landing strip. Um, but uh, I mean that's you know, something to think about, especially <laughs> since there's literally planes flying, you know, all the time over the house. So. We all have desires in life. We know what we need to be doing. But when it comes to putting effort into doing these things, a lot of people just aren't there mentally because they're... Everyone knows if everyone did what they knew they should do, mm -hmm. this world would be a much better place. But a lot of people tend to find ways to cop out, be it video games, alcohol, um, I can't even really say cigarettes because cigarettes doesn't really cure your time, like cure your. Yeah, cure but come on, you know it's to. like a it's like a relief though. Once you become an addict of cigarettes, uh, right, you even, need a cigarette to relief from just life. Even, I'd say. even though you're getting nothing out of it. I mean, you and I both have cigarettes in our hand now, correct? Yeah. See, so that's what's crazy is, you know, we're talking about this, but when are we gonna realize the true magnitude of the situation? I think that's what's important. The true magnitude, hmm. it's 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 a lot to take in, and I guess sometimes people don't want to face it. But you know, health is definitely a concern here, and it seems to be an endless loop of. I want to. I want to. I want. I want to get better. I want to have a great body. This and that. But I don't want to put in the effort to do that. And then it's like, ah, oh, fuck it. You know what? This alcohol makes me feel like Superman. I don't do that instead. It's it's quicker. It's cheaper. And, but in the end, it leaves you at the same point and only more depressed. So it's it's actually a scaling problem. And also, as you become more depressed. You're also losing your health at the same time. It's also killing you. Unfortunately, too many people wait until something goes wrong with their health or otherwise to actually do anything about it, which which is I mean, it's it's not impossible to recover from that point, but when you get there, you'll kinda ask yourself, why did I even let it get to this point? Why didn't I just do it sooner? You know, it's... And honestly, that's that's what I think about all the time. And that's why I always say the things I say to you. You know, even even though I'm struggling with um, getting rid of this habit. But I think, in my, from my opinion, the most important thing to think about is, you know, some of the things we've learned in that great book that I haven't read enough, um, The Easy Way to Quit Smoking by Alan Carr. There's so many great lessons in that book, but some of the things I picked up was the fact that Everything we want is on the other side of not smoking. So. That's true. 
you know, <clears throat> I like to break things down to the most simplest form because that becomes truth and, you know, just follow a simple path. It's not that hard. I think, <laughs> I think somewhere inside of us, we're almost afraid to succeed. You know, I've thought about that for a while. Matter of fact, ever since I was young, I was like, damn, Conrad, are you, are you actually afraid of success? Are you afraid of the expectations from doing well and having to put in work to maintain them? So, that's been a struggle. Um, well, my guest went to rinse out his cup, so. Uh, this podcast has been 10 minutes, 11 minutes. I think I think that's good. I think there's a lot here to think and discuss and talk about. So uh, I guess this is Conversations with Conrad, episode one with my brother, Duval Jones. Or Deej for short. Or Deej for short. All right, until next time, good people. Peace.